be a great angel and I'm gonna fly to God. And I was like, you're not correct, man. I'm so sorry. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, he was barking, you never knew. I will go shooting out the gator, eat it for breath. Man, I be chilling. Oh, did y'all hear me? My fault, my fault, my fault. Uh, today's story time is brought to you by Milo's. Now, I'm not sponsored, but I should be. But anyway, the story is brought to you by Milo's. Uh, I was drinking my Milo's and uh, was remembering myself. Have you ever gotten in trouble for being smart? Let me rephrase that. Have you ever gotten in trouble for being so intelligent? I have one time. And if you're watching this video, I'm about to, you, you, you know who you are. So, let me put this tea down. Get to explain it. Let's go back to my third grade year. Mrs. Cruz was my teacher. I had a friend named Jameer, his brother Tavion, a hood dude named Quinn, and my crush named Viviana. Four people that are very important to my whole third grade year. And what that third grade, there was other people. Uh, so, I remember like it was yesterday. You know, if, you, if you're grown up in a Christian household, you're taught like, I don't know how, you know, how Christians raise up their children. Are they, like, feeding them intelligent or, like, they wait for them to get older? Because my grandparents slash parents did not wait for me to get older. They fed me the truth and the raw truth, like, coming straight from the Bible truth. They didn't say, oh, God loves you and, you know, you're going to go to heaven and you're whoever died watched you. No, none of that. They gave me the truth, talking about you can go to hell. Hell is impossible. If you know right from wrong, that's a sin. Guess what? God is watching you, but whoever's dead will remain dead. You know, just actual Bible stuff. But let me actually get into the story. So, I'm in class, right? I'm chilling, big ball chilling. Somehow, I don't remember. We get on the topic of death and then the past ones that have passed away and all that other stuff, right? So, I got my homie next to me. I forgot his name. I think it was like William or something. And, uh,. I'm talking, chopping it up, and, it was, and she's like, yeah, my grandma's in heaven watching me over. And I'm like, listening, and I'm like, so has, will God get mad at me if I don't tell her that she's wrong? So, I'm like, excuse me, I forgot her name. We're going to call her Ch Chun Li. Excuse me, Chun Li, um, your answer is actually invalid. Now, we're in third grade. I should not be giving out answers like this, but I did. So, I'm like, excuse me, Chun Li, yeah, yeah. Your grandma's not watching. She she's passed away. She's dead, and she will not remain dead until God comes and judges us all. Right? Says something like that. She was like, "How would you know?" I was like, "I'm taught. I read the Bible. My grandparents make me read the Bible, and uh, they tell me what this and that means. So that's how I know." She was like, "Oh, okay. Well, okay." And she lets it go, right? And we're still on the topic of God. It's like bouncing every once in a while. Then we get on the next topic, right? Now, if you know, right, this ain't, look, get this back in frame so the light come in. If you know the Bible, right, you know there are angels. There are male angels. There are no female angels, right? We get on that topic. She's like, oh, I can't wait to go to heaven. I'm going to choose my wings and I'm going to be a girl angel. And I'm going to fly to God. And I was like, you're not correct. I'm so sorry. Um, there are no female angels, and you will not turn into an angel when you get to heaven. Nor will I. There are only certain angels with certain uh, roles that they play in God's kingdom. Uh, so to answer your question, no, you don't. You don't turn into an angel. And there are no female angels. There's no need for repopulation. God fixes them, and uh, God is so perfect that their body fixes themselves, and the heat of battle, just like us, but we're just slower. So. Yeah, you will not turn into a her angel and stop saying that your grandma's looking after you. She's, she's not, bro. She's in the ground waiting to be rescued like the rest of the dead people that have died. Why you think Jesus was dead for three days before he rose? He was dead for a reason. Uh, 
So we go, it was like something like that, but it was like more, uh, it was more like, it wasn't, it was brutal, but it was like intelligently brutal, like classy, brutal. Like I remained calm and I just told the truth like it was, right? Get this back in the fight, dog. Damn. And I told the truth for what it was, right? And that must have hurt her feelings. I think she almost started crying. She's like, why would you say all that? There's no girl angels, that, that is that, that's not fair. And I was like, it's not about it being fair. There's no, there's no human angels, I'm sorry. Um, there's angels that look like humans, you know, those are the little angels you know, but there's cherubim and all this and that, but if you do not turn into an angel, there's no female angels, I'm sorry to tell you that. So she starts like, she gets upset. I'm like, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, I'm just trying to tell you the truth, this is what I know, this is what I know in my heart, and this is what I know in my head, I've studied this, I learned this, she was not having it, Chun Li got up out of her seat, and started crying, went to the teacher, the teacher stopped class, so now I gotta explain, right, now I gotta explain to the whole class, why <laughs> she's crying, and I'm like, she said there was girl angels. I'm here to tell you, there was no girl angels. And then all the girls gave me the dirty, even my crush. And I'm like, why? Lord, why? Even the, even my crush was giving me a dirty look. I was like, I'm, I'm telling the truth. This is supposed to help me. Why am I getting yelled at? <laughs> and, uh, this is why the world, this is exactly why the world's not gonna survive when Jesus comes, bro. Like, just they thought i was genderizing at a young age they didn't they they i didn't even know genderizing was a thing like i'm seven i just know the word you know i just know the word of god and like how are you gonna get mad at me for that so all the girls gave me a dirty, oh no girl angels huh that's no oh, oh. hey yo like that's what they wanted to do right so now okay so now i'm explaining yo your parents or whoever died is dead right they don't come back to life until God tells them to come back to life. In this trip, it says that he is the only one that can bring them to life. When you die, you do not go to heaven or hell immediately. You have to be judged if you die when before God comes. They weren't having it. So all, all the girls are just looking at me, right? They're like, eh, I thought he was nice. Yeah, pretty hair, got a pretty afro, nice kid, always helping out. And now this will this will we hear from him? They didn't have it. So my teacher instead of handling like the adult she is. Oh, five minutes, right? Just just balling, trying to explain the teacher's going. Teacher coming to me, lies you can't say that. That's wrong, that's rude, that's disrespectful. Now I'm on the verge of tears because I'm like, whoa, how are you gonna do this to me? I've read the Bible plenty of times. So my dad, my mom, my grandparents read it to my siblings, right? And you're gonna tell me it's disrespectful to tell other people the word of God. You're gonna tell me that, right? So I'm, I'm still trying to not cry though. I'm like, just hold it in. It, it can't get any worse, right? She says, you know what? You're on punishment. And I'm like, I like, I, I don't know what to say. She's like, you know what, all the girls, this is what she said, all the girls, go ahead, get up. We're gonna go have recess time. But you know what she really wanted to say to me? She would have said, I'm triggered! You sexist, bigot, racist, stupid, cis male! Rape! 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 I'm a rape. I'm not even You're a man! Everything a man does is rape! 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 He's raping me! So everybody get up. All the girls, go outside and play. Sure enough, every girl stands up, gets in the line, and they all giggling. And I'm like, really about to cry. Like, like I'm seven, like, and I'm like, I can't cry. That just shows emotion. You can't, you gotta stay, you gotta stay calm. Like, I'm literally just like, like I'm trying to breathe because my like my one of my asthma was like bad. It's bad now, but it's like bad, bad back then. So if I like started crying or doing anything, getting hysterical, my asthma would trickle. So I'm like, okay, I can't cry. I don't have my inhaler, and I got like maybe three hours of school left. So I'm like, bro, I really got in trouble. Like I'm in my head. I'm like, bro, I really got in trouble for telling people the truth. Uh, so.
they were outside for 45 minutes just having the time of their lives, right? Now, Miss Cruz, if you see this video, I don't condone hitting women. I don't like to hit women. I never want to hit women. But since y'all want equal rights and equal therity, right? I need those hands. Like, I'm, I want your hands, bro. Why would you do that to me? I'm seven. You made me seem like a monster to them kids, bro. They thought I was a demon because the way I told the truth. Bro, why would you do that to me? You, you know you were in my whole third grade year after that, right? No girl was hanging out with me. No girl was talking to me. All I had was the bros, which is okay, but if I want to shoot my... Look, if I want to shoot my son, you just ruined the whole year for me. Every girl thinks I'm a sexist, misogynistic, unfair, unjust person. But I was just telling the truth, man. Why you do that to me? So yeah, I want those hands. And, uh... So... Then, like, the... Like, I guess, like, the student... Like, somebody that was, like, the gender... Like, this dude was like, make sure you went to detention. I don't know what you call him. But this dude was cool. He let me... I was like, the first time I ever got to de detention... That, uh, first time I got to detention, he said, yeah, you can, uh... You can go. You don't even gotta be here for real. But I better not catch you again. Because he, he knew I did... And he knew I really didn't get detention. The only reason I did get detention is because my teacher in my fourth grade year... Lost my Christmas paper that I wrote. So she ended up making me go to detention. So I was like, this is why I don't love. But, so, they're out there 45 minutes. And then now, every dude in this room wants to jump. I know once I get out that building, I'm getting jumped. That's exactly what's going on. I'm getting jumped this morning. That's what's what, that's going on in my head. I'm getting jumped. I'm getting stumped on. I'm getting swung on. I'm getting picked on. I'm about to get everything imaginable. Because now I'm the one making it look like it was bad. So, dude comes, he was like, all right, so your teacher called me up. Uh, what's going on here? And he knew me pretty well. Like, this this dude was cool with me. One of the coolest dudes. He was cool with me. I've only had two problems with him. Which is, my first one was my Mike, my Michael encounter, right? With the first video that I ever did. My first story time I ever did. That was my first encounter. This one, uh, he's like, he, he, he was like, he was like, he, you could tell that he was like, this is just stupid. Okay, but you really gonna do this for this little kid? This is stupid, but he kept his composure. He was like, okay, okay. And, uh, sat there working on whatever homework I had for 45 minutes in a dark classroom. Then I was really ready to cry because these girls come in, they all hot, sweaty, dehydrated. Then they all look at me and they just, they give me the most disgusting look. You know when you get like, you're like, when you go up to your crush and she like, ew, no. Like, imagine that, but 10 times worse. I got that. And you know what I had to do? I had to sit there and just be like, bro, why? Why? I, I'm seven. Why? Why? This is not, and teacher, you're smarter than me. That's why you have the job. Your job is to teach. You should have said, if you, if you don't believe in God and you don't know the truth, I'm, that sucks. Yeah. I'm sorry that you don't know the truth. That's That sucks for you. But if you know the truth and you sat there and just let me get in trouble or put me in trouble because I told the truth, you gotta run my hands. You know what? Make this video go viral so Miss Cruz can see this. I want those hands, bro. I want those one-on-ones. She was a cool teacher until then. One of the best teachers I had until I had that encounter. Because she did not handle that professionally. She sat there and not yelled at me. But she just made me feel horrible, bro. Hor I was starting to think, was I, was I really wrong for saying that? Like, that was the thought going in my head. I was only seven. Now, I'm 14. About to be 15 next month in high school now half the teachers don't really care what you say as long as you get your homework done they don't care what you say i can call a girl fat i i can i can roast somebody they go up to the teacher the teacher ain't really gonna do nothing you like go get your homework done it's just words which it is so i don't know why she took it personally but you know if i look back at it and i come in third person yes i can see why it hurt her feelings because she's probably never ran into anybody that told her no your grandma is actually dead she's not alive she doesn't have a conscience no more She's gonna be dead until the Lord come gets her. And she's never had nobody just brutally tell her that there's no girl angels. There's no reason for that because you don't need to be popular. So there's, there's no pur purpose for that. 
and humans don't turn into angels. So when I told her that, I'm realizing, yes, I told her in the most brutal way, but that's how I was taught. Like, now my dad's like trying to tell me like, you gotta explain things so good that a kindergartner can understand it, which is pretty smart. But back then I just, I told her the truth, which God says, tell the truth like it is, which I did, but she just, I don't think her mind could handle that thought. And so the reaction was just emotional, which, you know, I, I do apologize just a little bit. I will apologize 1% just for putting me like brutally like because i told you your mom your grandma's dead yeah she's not she's dead till she's dead till god comes back yeah i was be i was brutally honest but i don't regret it because like how she gonna learn you know what i'm saying so with that being said that was the story time of how i got yelled at for preaching not even preaching just telling um what the word is you know what i'm saying and uh, that's probably the last time I've ever had a discussion about God in class because I didn't know if I was going to get in trouble or not. I think they called my mom. I actually talked to my mom about the subject. And uh, she said, yeah, they called her. But my mom never brought it up to me when I got home, at least from what I remember. I did end up telling, I know I told them though. I told my mom, I told my dad, I told my grandpa, I told everybody, right? So they, they probably do remember this, but I definitely do. I'm never going to forget this. And to that girl, Look, I apologize, but you are wrong for that dog. Like, bro, come on, you did not have to cry. But then again, we were seven, so that was like somebody told me my dad was dead. But then again, God rest his soul. If he ever dies, while I'm, you know, in this age, well, he's not, he's not dead. He's still in my life. But I, I would, I would accept that. I just know that that's what it has to be. So that's how life goes. So, yeah. That's how I got in trouble and uh, if they end up seeing this video, my teacher, I hope you found God now because if you didn't, ooh, I'm about to hit you with the cleanest one two piece. All jokes aside though, all jokes aside, uh, until, you, until next time, uh, Sauce Mafia. I'll be